something's not just right, and it's looking more and more likely like this hurricane is going to go through Haiti tonight, tip Cuba tomorrow, and then work its way towards the coastline of Florida. Right now, it's about 190 miles southwest of of Port-au-Prince. If you missed the top part of the newscast, maybe you haven't seen just how close the Hurricane Center is forecasting the eye to come. Now keep in mind, no hurricane is a point. So here's the cone. Here's the path of projected movement up through the Bahamas and staying just off the Florida shoreline. But we're in the cone, which means day four, day five errors. And we're talking today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day three errors could put this eye all the way over here on this edge of the cone, or it could keep it far enough away, way out here on this edge of the cone. More likely than not, it comes through here. So on this current track, this little line right here, it would stay off the coastline by about 60 miles, about 180 miles away from you in Marion County. But if it follows this track of the cone, all bets are off. It could be one of the worst days we've seen in 12 years. Hopefully, this side of the cone verifies. We will keep you posted model run to model run as to what is going on. If it does stay offshore on this particular path and doesn't follow the western side of the cone, then our wind speeds across the interior should approach tropical storm force, anywhere from 10 to 40 miles per hour. Along the coast, a little higher, 50 to 60 miles per hour, right on the immediate coast. Again, that's if it follows this track. If it comes further west, we have to ramp those wind speeds up for you. This is the way the tropical clouds and rain forecast. See this thing moving through Haiti tonight, clipping Cuba tomorrow, then coming into the islands by Wednesday and by late Thursday approaching us. Right now we're talking about rainfall activity from Miami out to the islands by Wednesday night at 11. Here's the way it breaks out locally for rain tonight. Not much left. Through the day tomorrow we explode a few showers in the afternoon, but nothing you can't handle. It's Wednesday into Thursday when the airflow starts to change, and late Thursday into Friday would be our pivotal time. Overnight lows tonight in the four, uh, 70s all over, 74 in Orlando, 71 up north. We'll say showers still possible until midnight. You just saw radar. Most of that is long over. Here is tomorrow. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Okay. 73 degrees at 8 a.m. By noon tomorrow, 80. Your daytime high goes to 88 degrees with a 50% chance of rain. Next three days, all changes. A high of 88 tomorrow, a 50% chance of rain. 88 with a 60% shot of rain on Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to ramp those rain chances up late Thursday into Friday. I want to be well heard. You've got one day, two days, the third day. You probably need to have your plan in action already. Get your water Get your family together, know what's going on in case this thing goes to the west side of that cone. Thursday and Friday both look like Matthew influences. We'll probably ramp those rain chances up and talk about wind even more by this time tomorrow.